All right, everybody, we're going to uh, go ahead and get started with this quick tutorial on uh, some different new features of uh, Touch World 2.1. So I had a user contact me and ask me about uh, setting up I or you know persistent icons basically to make sure that they stayed uh, consistent between different scenes. So he's using uh, Streamlabs OBS. Um, I'm just going to use regular OBS with some of my scenes, but you'll get the gist once I actually get get started. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple buttons started up um, and get their their action set up. So we're first going to do is create a new button. It's going to go to page. Um, actually, let's create a couple new pages real quick. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and get this page set up to starting soon. And what we want to do is have this transition over to a um, a new OBS set, uh, scene. So we'll go down to the OBS uh, actions and we'll just go to my starting soon scene. So the one thing we don't need to worry about is button state. So um, the gentleman had uh, some buttons and button state he was controlling, but we don't need to deal with that. Um, there's actions down on the OBS set, on scene selected. So on scene selected, uh, you select your scene you're looking for, and it'll say is. You can also select is not. So we go with the same thing, is not. Let's go ahead and hit my um, icon packs. Uh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna use my starting soon. So by default, this is the button, the icon we're gonna use. So what we're gonna do is have button state off. That won't really matter. Um, this is all gonna be controlled by what scene is active in OBS. And I'll show you that here in a second. So now we wanna change visuals. We wanna change um, the icon, and not that one. Uh, so this will indicate, this little blue icon will indicate that we are started. So I'm going to drag that up into that one, copy that action, paste that action, drag it down here, and we'll change the icon back to uh, what it should have been. Keep selecting the wrong one. All right, so now this will change <coughs> state uh, whenever we uh, are on Starting soon, it should show this icon with a little blue triangle. When we are not on starting soon, it'll show this uh, icon without the blue triangle. So let's get a couple other buttons set up real quick. We'll get the BRB set up. We'll do the same thing here. On scene selected, BRB. On scene selected, not BRB. Same thing, visual changes. So we'll have on and off. So here's my on icon. Copy and paste. off icon and we'll change this one also by default to have the off icon and then we'll do one more which is the ending soon I call it offline he called it stream ending we'll stick with offline um, We want the same actions, unseen selected, offline, unseen selected, offline. Then you could even so you could even copy this, paste, and then just select that too. You don't have to do it the way I just did it <clears throat> the first time. Change button visuals, uh, offline.
So now at least we have the button events set up. All right. So now we have our three buttons. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and test them real quick. All right, so now we're gonna show you how this works in real time. So you're gonna see the scenes change on the recording as I push the buttons. So start, you can see the uh, icon now has focus, focus. Sorry, this is trying a new setup to try to get this to, to record well. It's not working out as well as I wanted it to. There we go. So start's now active. If you go back to main, you can see start also has the blue icon. If I go to the BRB screen, you can see that changed, screen changed. Go back to that, the BRB icon is there. If I go to offline, you can see offline has the blue icon and still has it on this screen as well. So that's pretty much all that's necessary to get um, some of these icon buttons to persist between different um, uh, locations. Um, you don't need to worry about button state. You don't need to worry about any of these custom states that you can do with Touch Portal now. Um, you can do it all with the OBS scene selection process. Uh, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below in the uh, comment section or go ahead and uh, come ask questions in the Touch Portal Discord. Thanks. Have a good night.